Hey everybody and welcome back to Cornucopia Farmstead. I wanted to make this video because Neotech reached out to us and they've got a new line of saws and this video is being sponsored by Neotech with their new line of Pro Series saws called Farm Mac. Uh, they're essentially uh, much upgraded versions of some of the saws that they already have out there. In that Pro Series lineup, the biggest differences are some of the critical components that are in these saws. A lot of people, uh, you know, they'll send you a saw and, you know, it'll have a champion plug or it might have a, a highway plug or something like that. But these, both of these saws now come with NGKR plugs. Um, the biggest difference is with the F660, which is comparable to the still MS660. It has an Italian ignition on it now, uh, some Taiwan bearings on it. It's got some Taiwan rubber in it that will actually last a little bit longer too you've got a a pro flow air filter system which is basically a, a high flow sponge type and it will actually let more airflow go through and the more air you have the more power you'll have as far as the 070 the still ms 070 and the farmac f070 this particular unit here has a Tillotson carburetor on it, which I believe is Irish. Uh, the body and the actual cases on this is full magnesium. Um, it all ha also has some Taiwan bearings and some Taiwan rubber that's used on this too. Um, of course, it's got the full wrap handle, just like the F660 has the full wrap handle, which I think the older NS892, um, it did not come with a a full wrap handle and that is pretty convenient whenever you're doing some stump cutting and things like that. Power differences, the F660 is about seven horsepower, maybe a little bit more. The 070 is around six and a half to seven horsepower and it's going to be different from saw to saw but this machine runs at a lower RPM and has a lot more torque and I have done some cutting with both of them and they do cut really well but the 070 is just it's a lot of fun to cut at a lower rpm and just seeing it throw out chunks and chunks of wood that's really really cool um, again these are both new to neotech in the sense that it is similar in the engine size but they have a lot more upgraded parts on them so what we're going to do right now is we're going to take this log that we've been cutting on for a while and uh, we're going to use the F660 with the uh, 28 inch bar and the uh, F070 has a 42 inch bar, I believe. And it is a 404 chain. This is a 3 8 chain. This kind of gives you an idea of the tools that come with every saw that they sell. The only thing I don't have in this picture is the fuel mixing bottle. And I personally don't use that, but they are handy to have if you just have a small amount you want to take out to the woods with you. Uh, some of the tools that are different between the two, I'll just highlight here. The F660 comes with two different size sprockets. One is a 3 8 and one is a 404. It also comes with a, a decomp plug, which you see right here. And if you want to run your air filter cover off, you can put this attachment over the back of your foam air, air filter and it will give you more air than that. With the uh, 070, it comes with pretty much the same thing without these sprockets here, but it also comes with a piston stop here for whenever you want to do your uh, clutch work to pull the clutch off. That's what you would use that for. Otherwise, most of Neotech and Farmac saw will come with all these tools you see right here. With all that being said, uh, we do have a little surprise for you. See if you can pick it out. But anyway, with all that being said, let's cut some cookies off this log and see how these two big saws do. We have coming up the Husqvarna 372 XP clone from Farm Mac, which is the F372. So uh, all that's coming up, uh, but right now let's get to the Farm Mac F660. And uh, thanks Arthur and thanks Neotech for sponsoring this video. Let's cut some cookies.
this is brand new and as you saw I, I did have to adjust the carb in it I had it a little rich when I used it uh, yesterday or the day before and then I had it lean again and then I went rich again and I adjusted, adjusted it back to a little bit leaner from where we were before but anyway it's you know the, the benefit of the Volbro carb that these saws come with now you know a very little movement and adjustment makes a big difference and I'm sure you could see that by the video but uh, again this thing is still in the break-in period and maybe some people don't think this is the best way to break it in but uh, I've not had a lot of bad experience now I have had some but not a lot of you know running them this hard from the beginning um, this saw is for me it's it's gonna work out really good and yes it is more powerful to me than the uh, previous version which is the uh, NS892 now let's go with the big boy. So let's see what the Hadria flywheel, the Tillotson carb, all this magnesium, all these Taiwan bearings. Let's see what this big saw will do. This is the F070, similar to the MS070 still. Uh, a lot of you, I've never had this particular saw. So a lot of you folks can comment below and let me know what you think about how this does compared to what you've seen on a 32 inch log here. This is a 42 inch bar with a 404 chain, so let's get it going.
well i hope you all enjoyed that as you can see this f070 is a handful and it does have a manual oiler on it and uh a couple of times I forgot oil when I should have and uh, it, it kind of affects the performance of it in the long run if you do a lot of cutting yeah it's going to do some damage to your chain maybe overheat the bar and cause some warpage but anyway that was a lot of fun running this saw the 070 I've never had one of these but uh, a lot of fun uh, the carb is pretty close on it I think it might actually be still a tad rich with the f660 the uh, steel ms660 clone and the f070 the steel 070 clone ms070 clone you can't go wrong for what you're getting for the price with these so keep perspective in mind whenever you make a purchase today especially uh, nope not everybody can afford a couple thousand dollars for a piece of equipment and if you can get into something for a third or a quarter of the price then uh, that's not bad and you know keep everything in perspective too you know uh, this this little screwdriver right here is something that you have to learn how to use whenever you're using a piece of two-stroke equipment or even four-stroke equipment because uh, temperature elevation um, you know your fuel uh, like in the case of the f660 the oil on the foam air filter all that stuff makes a difference and you will have to learn how to adjust and tune your carburetor. If you can't do it, take it to somebody that can. And uh, keep in mind, wherever you use it at, conditions may be a little different. I hope you, you folks have enjoyed the video. And like I said before, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Please share the video. If you got any comments, good or bad, leave them below. Uh, keep the bad ones out. But uh, um, Also, you can find these saws on neotechworld.com on Amazon and on eBay. Just uh, search FarmMac Chainsaw or FarmMac F070 or FarmMac F660. Again, neotechworld.com. There's also contact information on there for warranty and things like that. Uh, they've just gotten that going in the last month or so, so that's a big help. I know we uh, answer a lot of questions for them and uh, try to point them in the right direction. But again, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully this answered some questions for you. Uh, we'll have some more videos of the other two FarmMac saws, the F372 and the F380. So uh, thanks for watching. You take care, Dean. We'll see you later. Thanks, everybody.